We're going to do some science in the kitchen. So if you look around in your kitchen, there's all sorts of science happening just behind the cupboards. Everywhere. Now, you've got an experiment happening here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a really simple one, easy one to try. Um, but I want to start with a question. If you look inside uh, the big one here, um, what do you see in there? It looks like oil, I think. Mm -hmm. Is it oil? Yeah, that is. Well, that's exactly what it is. It is just run of the mill vegetable oil. Not that exciting. Uh, okay. What I do have that's a little bit more exciting is actually there's a beaker uh, hidden inside <gasps> oh. of here. Yeah, it's filled with vegetable oil. Okay. And, uh, and uh, so Where did the that weird come thing from? is, yeah, it's really it's like impossible to see. This has something to do with uh, something called the index of refraction. Okay. Basically, uh, when you've probably heard it before, or if you haven't, you've seen it before. If I put the spoon in the water here, you can see that it looks like it bends, and that's just because right. light travels at different speeds as it travels through different kinds of materials. When light travels through the same kind of stuff, it goes straight through, which means that uh, this Pyrex disappears in our vegetable oil. Oh. And it also means that if I take this water that we have here and I pour it uh, inside, that we can see the second beaker that I've hidden at the bottom uh, because of the density difference there, so oh, I don't want to overflow. There's it, another beaker in there. There's a second beaker in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll wait for it to settle. And I still can't see. Okay, I'm just gonna reach oh, in. Yeah. Oh, you gross. see it? This yeah, is I gross. Do. This is oh. gross. So I don't. Oh, you're gonna I don't need to really. okay. oh I see oh, it. Oh, yeah. The theory of displacement. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. The second beaker hidden in there. It's a handy but messy magic trick that you can try. That is very fancy. Make sure you've got lots of paper towels. <laughs> okay. Wow. Mine okay. isn't as much fun. <laughs> no, 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 it will be. Yeah. It will be. But I disappear at the end. So I <laughs> disappear. <laughs> okay, so we have leavening agents in our kitchen. Yes. Things make things rise. Yes. Baking soda, baking powder, and uh, yeast. Right. Okay, but it reacts to different liquids because of the, uh, it's alkaline, and we want to add an acid, and we're, gonna exactly. we're actually going to perform CO2. Okay. Carbon dioxide Ooh. is what. So now Let's when I put it. water into baking soda, Nothing. Right. Nothing. Okay, now I put water into baking powder and a little bit of foaming. See the yeah. little bit of foaming? Yeah, okay. it rose. All right, so that's just what this is called a double action. Ooh. And so oh, it's going to start to Ooh, rise up now. It's producing carbon dioxide. That's so what makes is, muffins oh. and cakes and stuff rise, right? That is very cool. Isn't that cool? Marilyn. Now I'm going to put. Don't sell yourself. <laughs> Look at it. Isn't that cool? Very Mom's cool. Center. Now I'm going to put acid, uh, and a kitchen acid would be lemon juice or vinegar. Okay. Now what, look what happens when I put it into uh, the baking soda. So, ooh. <laughs> So you see, if you're baking a recipe and you didn't have any baking powder and you put baking soda but you didn't have an acid as one of the ingredients, your recipe, you're going to phone me and go, it didn't work. It didn't work. And I'll say, you didn't follow the recipe. Uh, okay, right. so now here's the you deal. Now, it like that? I, no, I'll be really nice. Like, okay. I'm sorry you didn't have any success. Anyway, so uh, now when I put it into the baking powder, you're going to see that it rises too because yeah. there's baking soda and baking, uh, actually it's called the, the, the clinical, the uh, chemical name is called uh, um, uh, what is the heck it is? Oh, never mind. Anyway, but, so it's a double action. So it starts to rise and then it continues rising in the oven. Oh, so I it's see. kind of got a double thing. Now right. the other one I want to show you is over. Vinegar does the same thing. Okay. Okay. Now yeast is a living thing. Yeah. And so if you're going to do yeast, you need a thermometer because you're going to you're going to actually cause it to live, and you have to give food to your pet. So right. you always have to give Feed a little it. bit a little bit of, <laughs> of sugar, maple syrup, or some kind of sweetener. All right. And the temperature has to be 100. That's too hot. We're mm -hmm. going to kill it. I'll show you how you kill it. Oh, and okay. I thought we is, wanted it to be alive. Well, but we whatever. do. We do. So you need really to do it for uh, at 100 degrees or it's going to kill the yeast. And this takes a long time. It's not as fun to watch. I should have done that and then showed you. But it'll start... <laughs> See, I'm de it's dead already because okay. I killed it. And this is how people wreck their bread. Okay. They go, oh, <laughs> what hot water, we'll throw that in. Gee, it didn't rise, okay? <laughs> it's because you killed it. You're a murderer <sighs> of yeast. Right. All right? So, what should you have done to make it live? Okay, to live, it's right on the package. It says 100 Fahrenheit. So you oh. need to have 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got to be the right the temperature. The right temperature because you have to give there. it the right love. So mm -hmm. that it can live and thrive. Yeah. Don't and now kill look it. At this. See, this had the baking soda and the acid leavened up yep. but the baking soda baking powder combination boom 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 it's very cool That's try it cool. at home with the kids they love that stuff awesome. anything that bubbles it's great let's go in the kitchen having some fun with science so this is something uh i don't know do you try it do you have a subwoofer at home i don't know <laughs>
Let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do now, Leanne. Well, we're, we're kicking it old school because yeah. when I was a kid, Magic Mud was where it was at. Right, <laughs> because right. Because it was so easy to do, so inexpensive, and it's like hours of addictive fun. It really is. Right. And it, like, honestly. And natural. So natural. You can make That's it the best natural. thing. So all you need to start with is two cups of corn, corn starch. Uh -huh. Again, really inexpensive. Yep. And then one cup of water, sure. one part water. Yes. And Mary's going to use her Thor muscle power because <laughs> this it, it starts off looking very dainty and lovely and then it becomes a brick because that's thus the magic of the magic mud. <laughs> right. Yeah. That the more you move it Very and even lines. like we've got some in the tray here you can slap oh, it. Wow. You can like beat it but the second you move slowly with it it, it moves to goo. Oh, so, so cool. And this is what um, it's so great with Anthony here because yeah. I have seen this for years, and I've done this for years with my kids, even as a kid when I didn't have kids, I may have done it by myself, um, just because it's so <laughs> fun, like but involved. I didn't know why it worked, and he explained the why. So you can see, the more you move it, you can turn it into like these hard balls, you can throw it, oh, and oh. then it turns into like, ew. That is very cool. Okay, right? so why is it like that? So yeah, this is something called a non-Newtonian fluid. It um, okay. acts Yeah, that's like what a, I was going to say. Fluid, <laughs> <laughs> it acts like a fluid sometimes, it acts like a solid sometimes. Uh, depending on the concentration of water um, between these kind of grains of sand. Okay. I always like to think of it kind of like um, quicksand or maybe like a, a sponge. If you squeeze a sponge out, um, it can compress only so much before um, it just starts to act. It's really hard. All the right. water's gone. That's right. And the same thing happens here. You squeeze this enough and you squeeze all the water out and it acts like a solid. Okay. But. So one way to make it move is maybe add some vibrations. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some, some, uh, some vibrations. good vibrations. Good vibrations. So <laughs> what we have right here is a speed with a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're putting the magic mud inside. I don't yeah. know if you want to throw in any more in there or if this is good enough. I think this might be good. We made okay. sure to get um, some saran wrap covered because we want to be able to use these speakers again. Right. But it's really uh, a matter so. of uh, getting the right kind of frequency. So, right. Um, the kind of right, right. Uh, Kind of timing for the vibration, and if you can do that, you get these really awesome finger-like projections that come out of it. Yeah. So okay. I, I kind of want to try. DJ, and pump it up. Let's see if this DJ. works. Okay, we got the vibrations going. And you going. know what? I'm going to take it one step further. Let's add a little bit of color oh. and see if we can make the color dance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. It's okay. starting to move. Yeah. You want to massage it a little bit? That's the thing, yeah. So sometimes you kind of have to start it going. You just got to get like a finger in there and it'll yeah. kind of uh, start bouncing around. And again, non newtonian fluid, so Ooh. starting to move. Yeah, it's really cool, right? Starting to move. And it starts to vibrate. The speaker vibrates it. Ah, look at that. And it kind of comes on. It's awesome. And the oh quick tip of this awesome. is do not put it down your drain when you're Never. done with this. Never. Okay, so when you are ready to dump this, it's got to go in the compost. Yes. It's got to go in the garbage. Break. It does exactly. not go down the drain. What does it do if it goes down the drain? Uh, well, you basically Bad put some, yeah, kaboom, <laughs> cement. <laughs> I don't know, tears. Tears. 